that the goat she go, she flipped Muhammad from his bed. He's dead now, as long as we are talking about his death. And look what happened after his death. After his death, a goat she go inside the bedroom. Aisha, she said, the verses of stoning and breastfeeding for adult ten times revealed. And the paper was under my, under my pillow. So this is the Quran. And now Muhammad is dead. The goat, she go inside the bedroom of Muhammad. She jump in the top of the bed. Still, she cannot get the Quran because Muhammad dead, his head on the pillow. So the only way for the, for the goat to get the Quran is to push Muhammad from the bed, make him fall down in the ground, move the pillow, and then she flipped the pages of the Quran and she chose certain verses because she did not eat the whole Quran. And then she ate the breast feeding for adult 10 times and stoning to death. And both of them, they are sexual. And here you need to ask yourself a very simple question. The goat, she ate the Quran. Did she eat the memory of the Muhammadan about the verses? Don't the Muslim, they say that we recite the Quran by heart? Okay, we got it, we got it. The goat, she ate the Quran. Did she eat your memory too? Who is the Muhammadan who can recite for us the 10 time breastfeeding for adult? That's why I'm saying that there is something fishy about this story. They obviously, the Muslims is the one who ate the verse, not only the goat. The goat did eat them, maybe, you know. But the real one who really ate the verses is the Muhammadan.